Hey everyone, welcome to today's review of the new Lusitano. So I came out for the update this morning for the new Lusitano and immediately bought this very beautiful, they mentioned Perlino or something like that, horse. Um, I'll treat it more as a chestnut though. And um, honestly, absolutely beautiful. I redid the mane to make it look a little more on the cob type. Um, but overall, it looks really, really nice. I named him like Beldon or something, her Beldon. Um, but yeah, I really like the build so far of this horse, and it's not like the Hanoverian where it's super similar to the English Thoroughbred, but instead it's a totally new horse with totally new gates and a lot of really cool things that go along with it. The horse itself has a thicker build and has some really, really pretty eyes. I'm not sure for the bay and the white horse, but this horse has sort of hazelish eyes. My horse also has a really nice star right in the center of its forehead. My favorite part about the new Lusitano is the absolutely gorgeous neck. It's very crusty, it's very much thicker than the typical Star Stable horse, and it adds a lot more um, curvature and a lot nicer build to the horse that you would typically have in like your thoroughbred or um, some other horse that Star Stable has made. The horse's shading is also really, really impressive. It really sort of exemplifies the important parts of the Lusitano and sort of shows off how its build is. It's really, really good shading and it makes it that much more realistic and it makes a huge difference in the meantime. The horse's walk is really, really nice and it's different from the thoroughbreds in the sense that the feet sort of flatten out. There's also very minimal sliding, which is a problem that's shown up around the Arabians and the Connemaras, but instead this horse shows some really nice gaits and it doesn't slide, which is a huge pro. The trot of the Lusitano is really nice. It's sort of a mixture of the Connemara as well as the English thoroughbred, making it a really nice floaty trot. I think it'd be great for dressage too if you want to do some dressage videos and use that for some of your shows. The gait is on the left lead and it's really nice, quite floaty, and the tail goes along with it really nicely. Just some great animations in general in this canter, and I think it has some good flow and momentum to it. The horse's hand gallop is honestly quite impressive. It has some really good flow to it. It's got some just really nice momentum and I think it really suits the horse and the build of the horse. Lastly is the actual gallop. It's honestly very similar to the hand gallop, but just a little more stretched out and I think it really suits the horse. If the, if the horse was any other build, I don't think it would look very good, but it looks really good with this certain horse, I think. We also have the new spacebar feature where you press the spacebar, similar to the Mustang and the Lipizzaner, and you get a special little thing that they do. In this horse's case, it's the Piaf, which is very similar to sort of trotting in place, and if you press the spacebar, that's what you get. The horse's head comes in and you get some very elevated legs, and it looks really nice on the horse. It lasts for just a couple of seconds, but you don't have to use this animation just for the Piaf. I think it would work too for a horse that's spooked or something, if you choose to do episodes or something like that, or pictures. Um, and it honestly looks really nice on the horse. It has great momentum to it, and I think it really suits the breed. Um, and yeah. I actually just noticed a very small marking on the left front hoof of um, my certain, what I call a chestnut, Lusitano. And it's just a very small speckle right on the corner of its uh, sort of like coronary band. I think that's a really cute touch. It makes it a little bit more uh, specific and have some extra character to it. The horse also has a special jump for each canter, so if you go into the slow canter, they have what they call a funny jump, and it does look quite funny, to be honest. Uh, they fall a little bit, they go up a little bit, but they also fall, um, and I kind of like that. I think it looks really cool, and I think that's a very good idea, especially it's more realistic, and it just has a little bit more character to it, like I was saying with most of the other things that this horse has. This horse also has a jump for the full gallop, and if you look at this, it's just a normal jump, similar to the Connemara's jump, a really nice full posture jump. Fits the horse well, looks clean cut. But yeah, the funny jump is really a cool part of this horse and a new feature that Star Stable has been testing out, it seems. So now we have this area and you may have noticed that my hair is cut short and I chose to do that cut the short hair on this horse because I wanted it to look like an Irish sport horse and resemble more of a cobbish warm blood instead of the actual Lusitano. So that works too if you want to make a different look. Okay, so now that we're at the hair salon, as I was mentioning, it looks more on the cob type if the hair is cut short, um, or like the Irish sport horse type. Um, but of course they have their very signature hairstyle, and this is great. The Star Stable worked on the animations a lot, I bet, to get the hair to sort of flow with the wind, and it looks awesome when you're galloping. 
You also have the sports braids, and these look absolutely fantastic on the horse with the neck and the way that it's all um, worked out. You also have this normal cut as well as this cut, and they all look really nice on them. Um, and I think it fits them really, really well. So either one that you choose to do, it could become a different breed um, if you choose to do a shorter haircut. But yeah, I think they all look really nice. So this is the horse with all the gear on. I think it looks really great if you're going for that hunter horse, Irish sport horse look. And of course, just put on normal gear. And they also have the new gear that you can purchase at the mall that fits the typical stuff that a Lusitana would wear. Um, I think this overall looks really, really nice. It looks very clean cut. I think Star Stable did a great job in the animations. They improved a lot on the sliding and the walk. And I think this is going to be a huge hit of a horse, especially when more colors come out. And I think they'll remain as very popular horse throughout the history of Star Stable. I'm especially impressed with the pee off. I think it's such a cool movement for the horse to get to do. I bet the animations that went into this are insane. The horse has to move on every little thing and they have to fix a lot of the posture of the horse. So I'm really impressed with what Star Stable did with that. Overall, I'm really happy with this horse breed. I hope Star Stable comes out with more colors and possibly breeds based off of this sort of body type of the horse. They did a fantastic job on the gates, a fantastic job on the horse's color and all the shading, and I hope that they come out with more of these in the future. Thanks so much for watching this review today, and I hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.